Hey guys, I'm back with an update on what's the next build going to be on the bench. And, well, we already have one casualty down that's not going to make it this time around. Which is the High Performance Series Monogram Corvette ZR1. As I showed in a video previously, there was warpage on the hood. At some point, it must have gotten really hot and melted part of the hood here and deformed where the hood meets the door and the front fender. Now, here it fits very nicely. Actually, it fits a lot better than I thought. I mean, it's a really nice fit there. But here, I've been working on it a little bit, trying to smooth it out and clean it up. But you can see how it's deformed on the upper edge and on the lower area here which I've managed to smooth out somewhat it's gonna need a lot of body filler and I don't know if I'll be able to get all the lines straight but luckily this kit is readily available on eBay so I will be purchasing another one so it's not out yet but it is for now as I don't think I can get this to a point where I'm going to be happy with it. So I'll be better off just replacing that hood piece with another kit. So I could go ahead and build the rest as the hood and the front bumper are the last portions of the kit to go on. Or one of the last steps of assembly. But I don't want to paint the body in two separate steps as... Then you get the uh, you can get some slight color differences there. So it's waited this long. It can wait a little while longer till I get another kit in to replace this these parts. So sorry, Corvette ZR1, but you won't be making it this round. Now, when I went to put the Corvette back in the stash, I had completely forgotten that I have this one which would be the second generation RX-7 from Tamiya to go right along with the third generation car. So now there's another choice. Looks like it's time for another unboxing video. All right. That's it for now, guys. I will see you on the next one. And uh, let's just keep building when we're able. And as long as your kids haven't melted a little bit. Which kind of sucks. I was really looking forward to the Corvette. I had even picked a color for it. This Tester's ex Extreme Lacquer. This metallic green. Which I thought would have looked great on the car. But. It's going to have to wait now. So now we're back to looking at Mazda RX-7s. And still not being able to decide on what color. Oh well. Plenty of time for another unboxing video. Okay, guys, I'll see you on the next one.